Hello everyone, my name is Chong Ka Sun. Today, I'm going to show you the value management report on value engineering and management subject. First, the value management is a multidisciplinary, team-oriented structure, analytical process, and systematic analysis of functions which seeks best value where the design and construction process to meet the client's perceived needs. The main purpose of value management is to provide the correct product to the client or end user at the required or expected quality level with the best use of resources at the optimum cost to the client. Based on the cost relationship diagram, we can know that the benefit of value management will be maximizing when it is applied in the early stage of development where the potential saving can be greater and the cost of change at minimum. Next, value management can address most of the needs directly or indirectly, which leads to a degree of satisfaction to all the stakeholders involved. The benefit of value management is to identify and remove unnecessary costs in the original design of the project with alternative design solutions while maintaining the performance and quality, and show the difference clearly between needs and wants, afterward to separate needs from wants since needs is the necessary function and wants is not. Also, value management able to deal with life cycle costs, not just only initial project costs, and it provides an authoritative review of the project in its totality and not just a few elements. The outcomes of value management will benefit both the client and the end user to achieve value for money and meet their needs as effectively as possible, and communication effect efficiency can be improved, and conflicts can also be reduced since value management is a team-oriented work. And last, value management encourages creativity and innovation so that the better idea will be generated during the value management team meeting discussion. These are some of the benefits of value management. Next. The proposed project to implement value management study is located at Segi University in Kota Tamansara, Selangor. Segi University is one of the largest private higher education provider in Malaysia. The project is to develop a five-story with 300-bed teaching hospital. Next, the workshop was began after the client appointed the value management team for this project. In the information stage of workshop, the client has outlined his requirements and his main intention for appointing this value management team is to minimize the project cost. As this is a teaching hospital, the client's main purpose is to train the students until they could have abandoned experience with practical practice before graduated, as well as to provide health care for the society so that the Sugi University will achieve the goals of corporate social responsibility and at the same time increase the reputation of Sugi University. However, clients want to achieve this main purpose with only a minimum project cost. So, after intense discussion with the client's teams, we have identified two major approaches from which we can minimize the overall cost from the client project. Based on the FAST diagram, you can know that we have suggested the client to minimize the flow efficiency as well as to balance the capital cost and life cycle cost. When you look at the left to right of the FAST diagram, you can know that how are we going to achieve the main objective by step to step. For example, how do we going to achieve the maximized flow efficiency? When you look at right to left, you will know that the answer is actually decrease unnecessary space. However, when you look at right to left of the first diagram, you can know that why do you need to do this action? It is because to achieve some purpose. For example, why do you need to decrease the common area? And when you look at the left to right, you will know that the answer is actually in order to achieve the decrease unnecessary space. So this is the suggestions from us during the workshop at creativity stage. Next, 
we had applied the function analysis in evaluation stage at workshop in order to identify the space which serves unnecessary function so that we can reduce the unnecessary cost of the project. Based on the function analysis, we can know that the reading room should be removed since it is an unnecessary function, which means it will not affect the teaching hospital to provide healthcare even if the reading rooms has been removed. So by removing the unnecessary function, the client can save the cost for 3,000 meters square since the space of unnecessary function in this project has been removed. So in this way, the main objective of client has been achieved, which is to minimize the project cost. Next, in this project, we had used the priority setting metric as well as the width scoring metric on selecting the materials that should be used for this project in order to determine which criteria are urgent and critical. The score of this metric will be decided by the client after the discussions with value management team. So the list of priority setting material criteria stand for A. Capital cost B. Safety C. Aesthetic D. Durability E. Maintenance F. Cleanliness G. Ease of Installation H. Procurement Based on the priority setting metric for teaching hospital project, we can know that the overall project is more prior with the cleanliness since the cleanliness had the highest score in the metric, which is 7. While the aesthetic is less important for this project since the aesthetic had the lowest score in the metric, which is 0. Therefore, based on this priority setting metric result, we can proceed the width scoring metric in next step. So next, based on the results of priority setting metric, we have produced the width scoring metric to select the best alternative of material. The width scoring metric will be read by client after discussion with value management team. And the score of rating is 1 means poor, 2 means fair, 3 good, 4 very good, and 5 excellent. The rating of width scoring metric will multiply with the score of priority setting metric so that final score or final result can be produced. The higher the final score means the higher the value of the material. And of course, the material with highest final score will be chosen as the alternative material. So in this project, we had used the weave scoring metric to choose the alternative for medical bed, low finishes, and wall finishes. For example, the manual bed had been chosen as the alternative for medical bed since the manual bed got the highest score in final score, which is 117. So we are using this metric during workshop at development stage in order to produce the alternative of material. Next, upon the completion of suggestions, the cost plan has been produced during the workshop at presentation stage. In summary, the client can save up to 2.6 million of project costs by changing the original material to revised material, while at the same time remaining the value of teaching hospital. While the centralized A conditioning costs 30,000 more than the variable refrigerant flow initially, however, the centralized A is conditioning able to lower down the operation cost and therefore allow the client to save more costs in a long-term period. Next, the action plans has been produced during the presentation stage in order to highlight the area that needs to be altered with the appointment of suitable person that will be accountable for in ensuring the work progress. For example, the action plans of teaching hospitals show that the architect is responsible to change the full electrical medical bed to manual medical bed during design stage in order to reduce the cost of material while remaining the function and quality of the material. Also, the quantity surveyor need to prepare and compare cost plan during design stage, and the value manager need to ensure the work has been implemented as per recommendation during construction stage. So, 
This is the action plan for teaching hospital project. So in conclusion, our value management team was successfully applied a compound approach to this teaching hospital project. Some changes we have suggested to the clients include changing the unnecessary space into usable space and alternative for air conditioning system as well as alternative medical beds, floor finishes and wall finishes. However, we are looking forward to feedback from client after the review of this value management report, seeing the feedback is an important component for producing an effective value management. So this is what I'm going to share with you today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.